Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Can you hear that? That's not the sound of birds singing. That's the sound of a car alarm going off all through the night. Been trying to upload the video all night as well. Stuck on 42%. Not letting these minor inconveniences derail my day. Chloe's making me a black coffee and all will be well. So, something fantastic happened yesterday evening. After I'd finished editing and uploading this week's video, or trying to upload this week's video, we got a phone call from Joy and Mark. This is what happened. So we've just had a bit of lovely news. Joy and Martin were passing by on an epic road trip. Said they were passing and they've got some pasties for us. Oh, the excitement. If you remember, we first met Joy and Martin at the Crick Boat Show. Then we went to Plymouth to see them and we had the most extraordinary meal at Fletcher's. And apparently during lockdown, Fletcher's has been making pasties and they brought us some. Oh, the excitement. Oh my goodness. They, they come out the other about a quarter to the bottom of them, it's still warm. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, and what's in there? Chocolate brownie cake. <gasps> Chocolate brownie. Oh, my wow. God! Tell me about the restaurant. Our restaurant closed because of Covid. Yeah. And since we've closed over the last 14 weeks, we've invited over 10,000 pasties. Oh my God, that's amazing, amazing. 10,000 <laughs> Let's have a look at one of these bad boys. Oh, yum. He wants half with me. I'll have half. So lovely to see them. Just trying to dry out the ground sheet. The dogs are wondering what's going on. Well, caravan awning down. Camper van awning down. Almost ready to go. <laughs> We're back to the boat trying to upload this week's video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your lovely comments asking if we're okay because no video went up at seven o'clock this morning. Um, yes, we are okay. It's just internet frustrations, but we're back. We're back. We've got good internet. The video should be going up very soon. Cool. Oh. It's like a goose attack. He just flew up to try and get in. So I can't remember if I told you in all the kerfuffle this morning, but we've got we've got visitors this afternoon and I am so looking forward to meeting them. So Debbie and Steve watch our videos. Debbie sent me the book a couple of weeks ago. Do you remember? Well, they were passing through Milton Keynes and said they'd come and say hello. I'm so looking forward to meeting them. It's a bit of a noisy gathering. So while we're waiting for Debbie and Steve, we just remembered that this shop at the campsite's open. Can I sell ice creams? Would you believe it? So we've been waiting for Debbie and Steve for like two hours and uh, no, no sign of them. And we had a lolly and we sat there, chatted to lots of people as they passed by, still no Debbie and Steve. And I'd sent them details of how to find us, still no show. And I thought they must have fallen asleep after their long drive. So we'll go back to the boat. Anyways, get a call from them. They'd not received any of my text messages and had been waiting for us. I should have rang them. Glenn said I should have rang them like an hour ago. But I didn't want to bother them in case they'd fallen asleep. But anyway, they're on their way now, just a couple of minutes away. God, look, you can tell I've been wearing my hat all day. I've got serious hat hair going on there. I just want to check in before I went to bed. I've had such a lovely day today. It has been filled with just friends, cups of tea, chatting, gorgeousness. My absolutely favourite sort of day. And I didn't film hardly any of it, so I do apologise. So lovely to meet new friends. So lovely to catch up with some old friends. Loved it, loved it. Perfect day.